Coming into the season, Carlos Rodon was considered the consensus number one pick for this year's draft. But when the draft rolls around tonight, there's a high likelihood that he's not going to go number one overall. Why is that? Well, it's because Rodon has become one of the more uh, interesting and more, one of the more divisive players in this year's draft. Against Duke, as you're watching here, Rodon was at his best. This is the Rodon who would go number one overall, pretty much a consensus of most teams. You saw a fastball that was 93 to 96, touched 98, and you saw the slider that is the best slider in this year's draft class. You put it together, he had more than 20 swings and misses in this game, struck out 12, and just was simply the dominant front-end starter that, that teams expected to see from Rodon on a pretty much night-in, night-out basis. But as you watch against Miami here, you see the head whack here as we freeze it. The delivery was just not as clean, was not as consistent as teams were looking to see. In his last start of the year against Virginia Tech, he really added more questions instead of answered them. His delivery was had more effort to it. He did not have the same velocity, have the same slider that he usually has. And as you watch here, he's leaking out. He's not direct to the plate, and the command suffers. Scouts too often saw fastball command. That was not what you expect of a frontline starter, and that adds a real question about whether he has the ability to be a frontline starter. Going back to last summer, here you see him against a team for Team USA against Cuba. And in that start, you saw everything you wanted to see from Rodon. You saw very good extension. He gets way out on his front foot with his front foot. The extension's better. There's less effort to delivery. There's more direction to the plate. It all adds up to the, the Rodon that teams expected to see on a regular basis this year. But as you watch now, going to a start, the first start of the season against Canisius, you're going to notice that you're not going to see as much extension the arm slot is a little different, and there's a little bit more effort to the delivery. Here is start against Miami midseason, uh, March. Uh, again, you see some of the same things. You don't see as much extension. You, the arm slot is not as consistent. And then as you see here again, the head whack. You're not seeing a quiet head, which, uh, which aids command and which is something that scouts look for. That's why Carlos Rodon is an interesting question as we go into the 2014 draft.